Inmarsat is unique because of its focus on mobility, and I think that's the major growth part of the satellite industry today. One of the important things I see is the opportunity for all of the partners, Inmarsat's partners now, to start offering differentiated services and value to customers by offering the end-to-end -end solutions. Well, this morning we've been talking about where we're going uh, in 2019 and beyond. It's very important in the Asia-Pac region we have this conversation because it's the fastest growing region of any region for Inmarsat. They've become so accustomed to having the world's fastest 5G and 4G speeds, uh, super fast Wi-Fi and such, uh, and that translates into customer expectations. And so that's the challenge for, uh, for me as CTO, is, uh, is to make that uh, a reality. It's been an enormously exciting few weeks for Inmarsat with the launch of GX5 and now here we are at our European, Middle East and Africa partner conference. So 2020 is going to be all about the internet of things, the internet of everything, internet of everywhere, really scaling out some of those solutions we put so much time and effort into with our channel partners. Of course, not forgetting connectivity right at the core of everything we do, really starting to get ourselves ready for i6 and all those future generations of satellites. Well, we see it, it's about two key things, collaboration and customization. And critically, it's not about commoditization. 2020 is the year where the IMO will open the discussions on the next generation of GMDSS and we will use all the technology that we have to make this a so much more advanced service than today with proactive monitoring and automated safety. It is really all starting now. In 2019, Inmarsat Aviation unveiled an immediate opportunity to the industry. 2020, 2021, it's all about realizing that opportunity. Connectivity is at the heart of aviation and our partners are going to play a key role in the digitization and the future of the connected passenger and connected aircraft. Collaboration is the only way we're going to do it. We've actually completed the Take Private of Inmarsat. The scheme was approved yesterday, it takes effect today, so I was able to announce to our partners that we're now a private company backed by some incredibly exciting new investors who are experts in our field and are beginning the journey with us uh, over the next five years to grow the new Embassy.